Jacob von Gunten by Robert Walser is a profound exploration of the human condition, society's expectations, and individual identity. This novel, set in a surreal and enigmatic educational institution called the Benjaminta Institute, delves into the psyche of its protagonist, Jacob von Gunten, a young man from a privileged background who voluntarily relinquishes his societal status to become a servant. Walser's narrative is both introspective and satirical, offering a rich tapestry of themes and stylistic innovation that make Jacob von Gunten a significant work in modernist literature. At its core, Jacob von Gunten is a meditation on conformity and rebellion. Jacob's choice to enroll in the Benjaminta Institute, where he is trained to be submissive and obedient, stands in stark contrast to his inner thoughts and desires for autonomy. This paradox reflects a larger societal commentary on the roles individuals are expected to play and the personal sacrifices they make to fit into these roles. Jacob's diary entries, through which the story is told, reveal his complex inner life and his simultaneous acceptance and subversion of the institution's teachings. The Benjaminta Institute itself serves as a microcosm of society, embodying rigid structures and expectations. The head of the Institute, her Benjaminta, and his sister Lisa, who oversees the students, represent authority figures who both enforce and question the institution's purpose. Her Benjaminta's eventual disillusionment and Lisa's mysterious allure and ultimate tragic fate highlight the inherent instability and fragility of the societal roles they embody. The Institute's crumbling facade and the monotonous routines within it mirror the decay of traditional societal structures and the existential ennui of modern life. Walser's prose is marked by its poetic and often whimsical quality, which juxtaposes the bleakness of the narrative's themes. The novel's style reflects Jacob's inner world, filled with a childlike sense of wonder and a profound philosophical curiosity. This stylistic choice enhances the novel's introspective nature, inviting readers to engage deeply with Jacob's thoughts and experiences. The frequent shifts between mundane observations and profound insights create a rhythm that mirrors the fluctuations of human consciousness. Jacob's character is central to the novel's exploration of identity and self-perception. His ambiguous motivations and shifting allegiances reflect the complexity of the human psyche. He oscillates between submission and defiance, humility and arrogance, capturing the essence of a young man in search of meaning and purpose. Jacob's fascination with Lisa Benjaminta and his complex relationship with her underscore his yearning for connection and understanding amidst the oppressive environment of the Institute. The novel's open-ended conclusion, with Jacob leaving the Institute with her Benjaminta, underscores the theme of perpetual searching and the uncertainty of life's journey. This ambiguous ending leaves readers contemplating Jacob's future and the broader implications of his choices. It suggests that the quest for identity and autonomy is ongoing and fraught with uncertainties, mirroring the broader human experience. Jacob von Gunten also resonates with the existentialist themes prevalent in early 20th century literature. Walser's exploration of individual freedom, societal constraints, and the search for authenticity aligns with the works of contemporaries like Franz Kafka and Hermann Hesse. The novel's setting in an almost fantastical institution and its focus on a protagonist grappling with his place in the world evoke the existential crises that define much of modernist literature. In summary, Jacob von Gunten is a nuanced and richly textured novel that explores themes of identity, conformity, and the human condition. Walser's innovative prose and the introspective nature of Jacob's diary entries create a compelling narrative that invites readers to reflect on their own societal roles and personal identities. The novel's ambiguous and thought-provoking conclusion reinforces the idea that the search for self-understanding is a continuous and often elusive journey. Through Jacob's experiences at the Benjaminta Institute, 
Walser offers a timeless commentary on the complexities of individual and societal existence.